Hey, hello everybody, this is going to be a really quick video on Final Cut Pro. Just wanted to do a little tutorial. Um, I looked on YouTube to see if there was any videos like this, couldn't find any. This video is going to be about how to export your project in Final Cut Pro. And there's actually many ways to do this, there's a lot of options. Um, I'll, go, I'll go ahead and get started. Let's. Uh, I'm not going to have any real content in here, I'm just going to drag over, uh, start a new project here. Um, so say you're working, you got a new project, you've finished, all of a sudden you're done, you've got, you know, this beautiful video, and um, here's my whole video, I got the title here, and then, the, it's great, so I want to publish it, I want to, I want to put it somewhere, um, typically, you know, you want to, you want to export something to YouTube, um, so to do that, you just go ahead and click this button over here, and this button is called Show Share Destination. Once you click it, a little window will pop up, and you'll get all these options here. Now you see I've got YouTube right here, and then it's also got in parentheses uh, my email address. It's kind of uh, cut off a little bit there. That's no problem, but if this isn't showing up for you, this is how you uh, fix that problem. You go to Add Destination, and then over here you'll see that there's YouTube. Click on YouTube and then it'll go ahead and add it to that little list there. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. So, once that's done, you can go back over to this button and then click on YouTube. And you'll see here that it just looks kind of blank. Well, that's because there's really not much in my video. That's my whole video right there. Um, so what you want to do is you want to make a title for it if you want. This is my super cool, cool vid. And then uh, you can add a description if you want. Uh, yeah, just whatever. And then you can add some tags. And then, next step is to go to settings. And this is where you're going to sign into your YouTube channel. So you go to do that, you go ahead and click on this little box here. Most likely there, there won't be anything in here. It'll just say sign in. So you click on it. And you go ahead and you type your email address. In this case, it's my MSD Tech channel. Then you type in your password there. Go ahead and click enter or OK. And then next step is to click allow. Give it a few seconds. It should uh, sign into your YouTube channel. And then after that, you can see uh, how big the file is. And, and the reason why it's so small is because Final Cut Pro actually compresses the video to make it easier to upload it to YouTube. Um, and that's really cool because it's really, sometimes it takes forever to upload stuff and making the file smaller makes it that much easier. Uh, you're not losing that much you know, it's it, the video quality is going to be very good. I mean, Final Cut Pro does a very good job. Um, and, you know, there's further settings. You know, you can compress it even further, better quality or faster encode, which I just uh, talked about. And then you've got your privacy. And then your category. And this is basically like a tag. Um, but, I mean, also you can go in info and add tags to your video if you'd like, just like in YouTube. So, um, all these things that you see here in settings and in info can be edited in YouTube as well. So once you're done, you just go ahead and click next and then click publish and your video should go live. And you can see the progress being made here in this little, uh, this little, uh, show hide, this task window here. If you click on it, the actual task window will pop up and then you can see it says sharing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cancel this because there's, that's not really a video. <laughs> And that's it. That's how you do it. That's how you upload to YouTube. Um, if you want me to go into this other stuff, really, I mean, this is a compressor. This is actually a whole separate application. If you want to compress the video to something to make it smaller, maybe you want it to be even smaller than what YouTube already compresses it to so you can upload it to some other video uh, channel, for example, Vimeo. Vimeo isn't a really good example because they, they like the high quality uncompressed video format. Um, and then you got your master file. This is going to be the biggest file possible. This is going to make it completely, it's like a vanilla copy of your entire project. This is going to be the highest resolution, the high, the best quality, best file format, best bitrate. Uh, and that's, that's if you need, it, this is more for like if you're working on a project now, say you're like making a movie or you're making a small clip or something like that. That is so you can export the file in the biggest file format possible to maintain the video quality uh, that you're editing with. So say you, you're done with this project and it's only a piece to the puzzle, you go ahead and you click this button here, it'll export the file and that way you can go grab it out of your, uh, your archive and, and bring it back into the mix uh, so you can edit it later and, and that's really good uh, if you have multiple things you're working with uh, for big projects. So that's what that's for. 
Uh, yeah, so I mean that's it. That's all there is to it. I mean this is basically just a short tutorial to show you how to upload videos to YouTube directly from Final Cut Pro. Very easy. I hope I, th I cleared a few things up for you and uh, I hope you have a great day.